Welcome to another free Microsoft Access video tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Ross. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to email a report from your Access database. Here is the customer management database that I build in my normal Access tutorials. So far, this database handles customers, employees, contacts, products, and lots more. Now, in my most recent class, Access Expert Level 5, we created a printable report that you can use to send correspondence to your customers. If you open up the customer list, pick a customer, you'll see all the customer details over here. You'll see all the correspondence with that customer. I'll click on Show Contacts. This is the contact management form, and in here, you can actually write letters to your customers, and all that information is stored right in the database. You can print it as a letter right there, or you can email it to the customer. Click on Email the Report. It loads up Outlook, and there is the email all ready to go out. See the attachment? There's the attachment as a PDF. How do you do that? That's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. We're going to keep it simple, though. That's a lot of steps. So we're going to just simply email this customer report right there. It's a simple report called Customer R. It's a list of all my customers, their company name, first name, last name, address, city, and so on. What I want to do is make a button that emails that using Microsoft Outlook. So how do I do that? Well, let's go to Design View in my form here. I'll make this a little bit bigger. I'll go up to my Design Toolbox right there grab a command button control and I'll just drop it right down here on the bottom now the command button wizard pops up we're going to go to report operations mail report then hit next which report do you want to send well in this case it's the customer R my customer report that I just showed you I'll hit next picture or some text Let's go email customer report. That's just some English text that appears on the button as a caption. Next. Give it a meaningful name if you want. Command 26 is fine. And then I'll hit finish. Now I have a button right down here that says email customer report. I'm going to save this form, close it, and then reopen it again. I like to reopen my forms so they all load up nice and fresh. There we go. Okay, so now all I have to do is click on this email customer report. Access asks me what format would I like. Let's go PDF. Hit OK. And there it is. Now I can type in the to address, a subject, and put any information down here in the body that I want. And my report is right there. If you want to see it, just double click on it. And it opens right up in Acrobat Reader. Now, some of these things can be automated. For example, when I click on this button, I have to pick the format. And then I have to know the email address, the subject, and the message body. That stuff can all be automated with macros. If you go back to the contact report that I built here, when I hit email report, it goes right to Outlook without any prompts, and all that information is filled in. It knows the customer's email address. I can specify the subject and I put please see the attached down here. How do you do that? Well that's a little more advanced and I cover that in my full access tutorial. So if you'd like to learn how to do that, go to my website accesslearningzone.com, look for my Access Expert Level 5 course. In Access Level 5, I teach you how to set up that form where we can type in our letter. We'll set up a query so we can display a report for just one letter. We'll create the printable report. I'll teach you how to edit the embedded macros that the command button wizard creates. We'll talk about exporting the letter in different formats like PDF or a Word document. And I'll show you how to email the letter straight from your database like I just showed you. So once again, that's Access Expert Level 5. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them below. Thanks for watching.